Hello! Today in art, we're going to write our name. This is going to be the foreground of our painting that we've done. So our beautiful pattern will be the background, and on the front we're going to write our name in very thick letters that take up space. First we're going to write it thin, and then we're going to make them thick. We've been studying different ki kinds of lettering, and the kind of lettering I want to try today is going to be a cursive script. Kind of like this one right here is the one I've been looking at. I like how the letters get thin and then thick when they go vertical. I like how it's a very delicate cursive that connects and has some flourishes on it. So I'm not going to write my name today. I'm going to write the name of another teacher, Miss Young. Since she painted uh, the painting that I drew, we're going to put her name in the foreground of it. I'm going to start by... Um, looking at the example down there, I want to copy in the bottom corner, and then I want to have that loop on my Y. I want to make my letters connect. Here I go. Okay, so that's my basic cursive of the name Young. Now I need to go back over it. And where they get vertical, like right here, I want to try to make them a little bit thicker on the side that goes vertical. You can see in the example down there that it has some thin parts, and then it has some thicker parts. And that's part of what makes that so cute. So I want to try to be consistent. I'm always, whenever I go vertical, I'm going to try to get a little bit thicker on the vertical part and then when I turn back and go horizontal I'm going to try to keep it pretty thin. Of course these do get thicker and thinner and that's part of what makes it fun. The hard part for the artist is being consistent in those thicknesses. Consistent means you do it the same place on each letter. Remember, you can always add more. It's really, really hard to take it away. So that's how I recommend you approach it. Draw it once, keep it pretty thin, and then go back and try to thicken it in places. We want it to be thick enough so you can cut it out with scissors and all the letters are um, in one piece. Of course, if you're not doing cursive, they're going to be separate, and that's okay. We'll just glue them down one at a time when we glue them down onto the foreground of your art. I'm going to make parts of Miss Young's name a little bit more thick. 